What's up, everybody? Moped here, and we got some more reviews for today for you today. Um, today is kind of cool. All the recipes were recommended. All these recipes were recommended for me to mix up by um, by some of my friends throughout the community, and it's kind of cool because they recommended it, recommended them. Why am I having so much trouble talking today? They recommended them for me, but uh, they're not their recipes. They're actually other people's recipes that they all just enjoy a lot. So let's get right down to it. So the first recipe we are gonna go over, which one am I do first? So the first recipe we're gonna go over is Goofy's Juice by Stefalitas Vladimiros. I probably screwed that up like I did last time, so sorry about that. Um, this recipe was recommended by The Vaping Viking. Yeah, who's, he does a little bit of mixing, but not too much. Um, he said though this is, a recipe he'll mix up and that he really enjoys. So the recipe reads 0.3% um, TFA acetylpyrazine, half a percent TFA graham cracker clear, 1% flavor west hazelnut, 1% TFA peanut butter, and 4% RY4 double. So definitely kind of like a graham cracker nutty um, RY4. I'm not going to say tobacco because I really don't, I don't know. You know how I feel about RY4. But like I always try and do with recipes that have RY4 in them, I try and take out the fact that I don't like RY4 and, and look at the rest of the recipe. The rest of the recipe is really good. Actually, this is something I'm having no trouble vaping. Um, despite, you know, yeah, there's that RY4 taste that I really don't like too much. But the rest of the recipe is really good. Yeah, just nice, like kind of nutty graham cracker. Take another one. Yeah, a lot of that graham cracker kind of texture. Uh, and then, yeah, kind of that playful thing with TFA peanut butter and flavor West hazelnut where they kind of work together to make more of like a creamy hazelnut because TFA peanut butter, the peanut taste tends to fade, especially here it's only used at 1%. So that, that peanut butter, that peanut taste in the peanut butter is going to kind of fade and you're going to be stuck with the creaminess and then the hazelnut's pretty nice because it kind of comes in and you know turns into kind of like a hazelnut butter but still pretty good um i'm going to give it a three and a half out of five just because of kind of my bias towards ry4 you know obviously like i always say i think it would have been better with you know uh, actual tobacco flavoring but if you are a fan of ry4 um yeah you're probably gonna like it even more than i do but still a good recipe still dig it all right and the next one we're going to look at um is boss reserve clone by folk art and this recipe was recommended by my buddy michael hoffman um, another admin in the eat sleep mix repeat group and yeah so this is obviously a remix of cutwood's boss reserve which i don't think i feel like i've had it but honestly because i know i've had some cutwood like i haven't vaped a lot of commercial e-juice but cutwood was you know back in the day, you know, I mean, they're a popular brand, so I've had, and you find them anywhere, so yeah, I've vaped a few, so I think I might have had this at one point, but honestly, I don't really remember. Anyways, the recipe reads, 1% TFA acetylpyrazine, 1.5% TFA banana cream, quarter percent inaware biscuit, 1.5% favora milk and honey, and a quarter percent Capella Super Sweet. This is a very nice, very nice recipe. Um, and it's surprisingly kind of light, which I really actually like, you know, um, for kind of the profile. So it's supposed to be um, like a graham cracker, nut cluster, honey, kind of triple threat type type of recipe. And, you know, you expect somebody to go really heavy with that kind of profile, but he actually went pretty light with everything. And it's really nice because it's kind of nice to get those like kind of bolder, um, those bolder flavors that you expect to be like kind of you know more rich and instead you get kind of this like lighter more delicate delicate mix of everything and everything is in there very delicately but everything's also pronounced everything you can taste all the different parts of the recipe um, yeah he kind of built up the graham cracker with biscuit and acetylpyrazine and then you know then a little bit of honey on there and uh, the banana cream, like when I saw it, I was like, wow, only one and a half percent banana cream. But it's really nice because you just get this really light banana. It's 
especially after I seep, that banana really fades, but it does stick around a little bit. Just enough where you kind of get get it on the background, the back note. And it's just, it's really good. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one a four out of five. Yeah, I mixed up a 60 mil and I've already vaped through that much, a little bit, about half of it. So yeah, I'll definitely be finishing off that bottle. And it's a recipe I'd probably mix again. So yeah, good job, Folk Art. Uh, Folk Art always is awesome recipes. One of my favorite mixers. And our recipe of the week, our recipe of the week goes to Doug's Awesome Sauce by Hammer Jag. And this one was recommended by Joe Van Cleef. Um, yeah, he's, I know he vapes the hell out of this recipe and keeps talking about it. He always posts like big jars of it and everything. I was like, all right, finally, um, finally got around to mixing it up. And yeah, let's take a vape first. All right, so the recipe reads 3% flavor West Bavarian cream, 6% TFA juicy peach, 5% TFA strawberry ripe, and 3% Inuera shisha strawberry. So yeah, so obviously everything's kind of packed into this recipe pretty nicely, you know, definitely not um, delicately put in there, but everything just comes together so well in just this really nice, full, fruity vape. Yeah, just a really nice strawberry and peach with that nice, this is my, I think this is, yeah, because I bought Flavor West cream, uh, Bavarian cream to make this recipe, and I'm really digging Flavor West Bavarian cream. Uh, I need to work more with it to see exactly, you know, how it works in recipes, but at least in this one, it does a really nice job just bringing in that creaminess, um, kind of less of a distinct note than like TFA, like sometimes that's the problem with TFA Bavarian cream, it has a really distinct note to it, and that's really going to come through. This one seems to have like less of that kind of like vanilla taste and, you know. But yeah, so just a really nice pretty much strawberry and peach cream. Um, just really good. And it's something, you know, all day vape for sure. So um, great job, Hammer Jag. I really dig it. And oh, yeah, so I guess that one I will give. Where should I get that one? Yeah, I'll go ahead and give it a four and a half out of five. And so that's it. For this week, um, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. Be good to each other. Until next time, talk to you all later.